What's going on guys, my name is Cody and today we're gonna to take a look at Adobe XD in Photoshop and how you can take a mobile design from Photoshop, import it into Adobe XD and be able to work on that file within the software. So starting off, we've got Photoshop open, which I'm sure a lot of you are pretty familiar with. We've got a number of artboards here with different layers and groups and we've got some shapes, some clipping masks, some text layers, all sorts of different things going on here. Maybe this is a project that you designed in Photoshop knowing that you were going to bring it into XD or maybe this is an older project that you want to bring into XD to make it a little bit more organized and more efficient for your workflow. Whatever the case may be, the cool thing is that Adobe XD will accept this Photoshop file and allow you to open it within the software. So let's go ahead and do just that. Adobe actually made this incredibly easy to do. Simply come up to the top left of your screen, go to File, and navigate down to Save. So you're basically going to save your document. Once you have your document saved in a good place, open up XD and simply go up to File, Open. You'll locate your Adobe Photoshop file and click Open. It's really that simple. As it opens up, you'll notice that everything was brought over pretty easily and all the elements look to be in place. All the text layers are editable, so you can go ahead and double click on those and update them to your liking. You'll also notice that all your layers from Photoshop are preserved so that you can edit them and move them around as you see fit. XD also retains the clipping mask that you made in Photoshop, so if you want to go in and edit an image, you can do so very easily. To update character styles and colors, simply navigate over to the Assets panel. You'll notice that you have Colors, Character Styles, and Symbols here on the left. Select all of your artboards, or hit Ctrl A, and click the plus on the colors and character styles. You'll see that in the left Assets panel here, all of your styles and colors are added. Right-clicking on a color and selecting Edit will allow you to change the color to whatever you want. This will update the color in the entire document, saving you a lot of time. I know you're probably wondering, Cody, like where do I get this software from? Well, there's a link below where you can download Adobe XD for free. 